Hey everybody, this is Robin Taylor at Taylor Freelance. I've been getting a bevy of questions about the differences between PPQs, PDPs, and PDP compacts. And so we thought we'd get into some of the important new differences between those parts. Okay, probably the most important question with, between uh, that's affecting Walther PDP users right now is what's the difference between a PDP full size and a PDP compact, particularly the, as it relates to the magazines, and why does it matter? PDP full size such as this one, uses an 18 round uh, full size magazine. Comes up so the 18 round mag fits flush with the frame. Similarly, the compact uses a 15 round magazine that fits flush with the frame. That's how it normally came, was with a 15 round flush fit magazine. And of course, I've got Taylor Freelance Plus Sixes on these. Recently, Walther has started taking the 18 round magazine from the PDP full size putting a collar on it and shipping it with the PDP Compact because it will actually fit the PDP Compact. But as you can see, there's a big difference in the length. Uh, the PDP Compact, as it sh if an 18 round magazine that is shipped with a PDP Compact comes with a little plastic collar to fill up this space, which is great. It means you can use an 18 round magazine and a 15 round gun. That's all cool. But there's a problem with that. The minute you try, you take that protective collar off, now there's nothing stopping the base, the magazine from going up into the gun. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the magazine. That sound is the magazine hitting the underside of the slide. Hitting the underside of the slide is not so bad, but let's look at this in a little more detail. If I pull the slide off, an 18 round magazine without the collar on it, not only penetrates up high enough to hit the slide, it penetrates high enough to hit the ejector. So if your slide is in the rearmost position and you spank a magazine in there with some level of authority, you're hitting the ejector directly. The only thing preventing the magazine from coming out through the top of the gun is the ejector. And we've talked with a couple of shooters that have done exactly this and bent or broken their ejectors, completely killing the gun. So why does it matter? That's why it matters. We're currently working on a base pad right now that'll be an adapter base pad that will let you take an 18 round magazine, use it in a 15 round gun, and give you some additional capacity. It could be 140 millimeter plus three with a collar built in. Uh, but in the meanwhile, until that's out, these 18 round magazines cannot be extended safely. Not until there's something in there to prevent them from over penetrating. So that's why it matters. Surprisingly, one of the other common questions I get is a really simple one. It's do I have a PDP or do I have a PDP compact? Uh, that's a surprisingly challenging question to answer because you can get different slide lengths. You can get effectively comp you can effectively get long full size slides on compact guns, and there's various combinations of slides and frames to where it's really hard to tell just by looking at the gun. And they're both cleverly marked PDP. They're not marked PDP or versus PDP compact. So the only real way that I know to tell the difference without having a gun in your hand without having a gun in my hand, is to ask the client whether the gun will accept a 15-round magazine. Now, this is a 15-round PDP compact magazine, and when it fits in the compact, it fits snugly like that, and it won't go in a PDP full-size. It'll go, but it won't lock in. Walther has offered 18-round magazines for the PDP compact in two styles. One of them is a 15-round magazine with an, ex with an extended base pad on it. And the other is an 18 round magazine with a skirt that comes up the bottom. So the only real way to tell is to, is to know, is to look at your magazines and determine if they're a 15 round magazine that fits flush, you have a compact. You have an 18 round magazine with a collar on it that prevents it from going up into the gun, then you also have a compact. Uh, the same magazine without a comp, without a collar is what goes into, is what goes into the, into the full size gun. The quick and easy way to looking to know, other than counting the numbers on the back, is the, the compact magazine has these ribs down the side versus the full-size magazine is smooth. The 18-round magazines are all smooth like this. Hope that helps.